Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to Multiplied by 4 colon Foundations. I've been very excited to play Multiplied by 4 for quite some time. And it is time, finally, for us to take a look at this. I'm really hyped to play this game, and uh, there's a big... Uh, the official release of the 6.0 version is coming out, uh, I believe, on Wednesday in sync with the latest expansion. And so I thought it would be good to do a stream where we uh, make sure I've learned to find all the critical bits that are necessary to play this game that I've been meaning to cover on the channel for about a thousand years now. So let's get the main screen turned on. Hello, everybody! Happy Monday! Uh, for those of you who have the day off, hey, great stuff. Um, this is one of those games that is, like, hey, Quilt, annoying to me as a streamer, because every time I tab out, it mutes the sound from the game. Not only that, but it starts running at, like, I think quite intentionally while it's in the background. It starts running at, like, 10 FPS or something like that. So, like, if I'm tabbed in, we get sound, smooth motion. If I tab out, no sound, somewhat choppy animation. This is the way that they did the game. A lot of games are like that. Usually you can get around it if you go, um... A borderless full screen uh and then it sometimes keeps running at full pin but this isn't one of those games so uh don't don't judge the frame rate by what's happening while i'm tabbed out of the game ba, 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 ba. big tip for 4x get good <laughs> hey <laughs> i'll do my best ba, 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 ba. uh looking forward to seeing your massive empire in just a couple of odds yeah well we're gonna see if we can like complete some a mission First, we'll see about getting to that point. X Force gorgeous. Couldn't get used to the UI controls. Actually, I am. Um, I'm finding it okay. I did try it with a with a joystick setup for a while, but I didn't really. Um, it didn't really vibe with me. Um, the uh, the controls with the joystick for whatever reason. Yeah, but I quite the mouse steering was perfectly fine. Um, so that's okay. I mean, I think if you do a lot of the sort of fighter type dog fighting, then probably you, you will appreciate like if you can fine tune a nice hottest setup or something like that. But um, otherwise, I'm actually having a great time with mouse and keyboard. So, yeah. Um, background. I don't know. I didn't see anything for background like FPS kind of limiter. I'm still on my GTX 1080, so I'm not running the graphics uh, in any way maxed or whatever like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything at a glance about that. Same thing if I check the sound. I didn't see anything in here about playing the sounds in the background. Um, if there's something under a different category, I, I don't know what it is. So maybe someone will know and then we'll sort it out. But otherwise, let's not worry about it too, too much. Ba, 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 ba. We got some uh, some subs, resubs and gift subs. To chat about right before we jump into the game uh so let's do that very quickly so we can get pew pewing uh we got a brand new sub from infamous gamer thanks infamous gamer remembering that twitch prime button thank you very much and uh, we got um oh streamlabs is doing the silly thing there we go we got jazeem providing gift subs to the, su the community five uh gift sub bomb to the community thanks you jazeem and in terms of resubs Urza started us off today at 37 months. Pine Tree Pirate is at a one year Twitch anniversary. Aka 1GBR is also at a one year Twitch anniversary. Fuse DZN is seven months. And Darda is at 58. Cyborg is at 43 months. Orfar at nine months. A Twitch baby. Azurency at 23 months. Juna's at 71 months. Are you seriously at 99 months? Uh, Quillenic 4, surprised to be sure, but a pleasant one. It's just been so long overdue. About three years ago, I did um, do the tutorials and try to learn the game with the intention of doing a kind of a Let's Play uh, thing and then got too busy doing other things and never went back to it until, you know, a week or so ago. Um, Chrisic has resubbed for the 43rd month. Last Revenant is at 98 months. Stan from Timmons at 32. Monday stream with no work. Ah, nice. Yeah, some people have a day off today, which is great. Uh, 85, Eric's at 28 months. Rastislav is at 7, 27. Daedalus, 98 months. Brian Pendragon at 94. Reptiles at 47. Relics has resell for their second month. Uh, it's been a few years, but mining some crystals in your starting zone netted some good seed money. Interesting. <laughs> I'd read that the uh, crystal stuff maybe got nerfed at some point. Um... Something like if you if you hit a highly valuable crystal, then for the next little bit, you won't find any more of the super rich ones or something like that. Uh, but that's OK. Well, I mean, we're just we'll try to do our best here. Big Ben uh, at 11 months. Sabin's at 10 months. McHooter? McHooter is at 14 months. Kaselar's at 10 months. And just now we've got Esoteric Fish coming in at 62 months. We've also got another brand new subscriber today. Uh, Zykareth. Thank you very much for that. <clears throat> OK. 
So one of the things with the game, when you start off, there are a variety of different starter scenarios, starting setups you can get to. As far as I can understand, no matter what you do, well, I mean, outside of the tutorials, obviously, um, no matter what you pick, you have access to like the entirety of the sandbox of the game. Where you start, um, or like what, what start you start off with affects maybe your starting ship, your starting money, physically where in the galaxy you are starting off, um, uh, potentially some faction alignments. And then some of these starts are also have some missions that they get you right on. Um, the foundations here, this is the base game. Uh, and I think all these are like super, like we're not holding your hand kind of open sandbox. It's so like the young gun here, I think is like the most generic, like here, you have a ship. Do something, I guess. Um, I saw a lot of people suggest that Terran Cadet over here is a great way to get started with sort of a, um, you get, you start on sort of an, on a mission immediately to, um, to give you some context for what you can do. The people of the solar system welcomed the seclusion the jump gate shutdown brought with it. Are you guys getting audio skipping right now? And soon began to heal, putting the traumatic events of the past behind themselves. Working fine for you? Sorry, I was just being silent to let people listen. No audio skipping there, okay. Uh, when I tab in and out, um, the sound does stop. That's that's the one thing that I, I can't seem to find a way around it, so um, there's that. The Protectorate. Um, so yeah, Terran Cadet, I've heard, is a great way to get started because you, you get thrown into a specific situation with step-by-step -step to step to get you started. You can still, as far as I understand, do whatever you want overall. But yeah, you can see here, Game Start Guided. This Project Genesis sounds kind of tempting. It says Game Start, start Type Assisted. I guess it, you get breadcrumbs maybe, but not the same sort of like, okay, do step A, then B, then C. Refugee communities suddenly stranded when the gates were disconnected along with disenfranchised people born on the outer rim of Seoul, were brought together under the banner of expanding into the unknown. At first, it was merely a... Project is quite fun too. It's quite story heavy up front. I, I was kind of tempted by this one. I haven't loaded it up yet, but it sounded interesting. Another protective buffer between Seoul Tides of Avarice start are great too. I actually just bought it today. It was the one expansion I didn't have. Um, but uh, the game's out on sale as of like an hour ago, uh, and I was able to pick up Tides of Avarice for 30% off to sort of finish things off. Avarice starts are also assisted one that actually teaches piracy. I don't know if that's the vibe I want, although I do like the idea, oh, is it Stranded? That you're like, yeah, you just like lost all your money gambling or something, so you start with nothing. You even got a screenshot of like a prison cell. Oh, yes. Going yeah, uh, the Grim Dawn one, there is one missing. I've got the new one uploaded. I couldn't fix it right away because I was away from home. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get the uh, the missing Grim Dawn stream uh, up. It's already been transferred from Twitch to YouTube. Uh, I just have to get it going there. And then the other thing I got to apologize for, Victoria 3, I had um, miss made some incorrect notes uh, for myself. I thought I had Victoria 3 videos until like tomorrow ready to go i didn't realize they ran out they were going to run out last week uh i didn't find out about that until i was going away to my parents for easter weekend um so my plan for tomorrow is to record a whole bunch of vicky 3 tomorrow so uh, that run hasn't been abandoned i just miscalculated how many videos i had recorded so boom um look at all the start dive and pick one yeah do 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 so i don't know you know what let's try project genesis i'm really curious about this and i've been curious the whole time and the fact that it's like at least somewhat assisted sounds like it's going to be fun so we're going to have some clear activities to do right away because the thing is like i used to load the young gun one and yeah you're just like all right you're on a space station staring at your spaceship that's it that's the setup you're done it's great that it's so sandboxy but you know my first playthrough i might need a little bit more context for things so yeah let's go project genesis and i'll let the audio play through once again so we kind of get a vibe for the story Oh, it might not, because... The mission statement nope, there it is. of the Pioneer Initiative was to expand the Terran sphere of influence past Seoul's gates. Refugee communities suddenly stranded when the gates were disconnected, along with disenfranchised people born on the outer rim of Seoul, were brought together under the banner of expanding into the unknown. At first, it was merely a tool established by the Terran government with the express intent of keeping these disparate groups at arm's length and to create another protective buffer between Seoul and the Gate Network. Ever since their inception, however, these resolute pioneers ceaselessly fought to loosen the Terran's grip over the organization in order to turn it into something truly inspiring and independent. 
So this sounds like a very high minded sort of colonization, exploration, scientific based community that's trying to yeah break the hold of like being controlled by the the, the Earthican government, which I like the vibe of a lot. Um, if I understand the lore for X4, uh, did humanity go out and like find a bunch of jump gates that just existed and use that to expand all over? And then at some point, like the jump gate system got shut down just randomly. We don't know why. And then maybe some of them came back or something like that. Something like this. But yeah, let's let's find out what the what the deal with Project Genesis. I think there's another voice thing as soon as I click again here. For us, Sagaris pioneers, science is the cornerstone of society. With the few resources we have available to us, it's the only way we could ever hope to make Brennan's triumph our home. Brennan's triumph. And to truly free ourselves from the Terran yoke. For that reason, I could never give up the pursuit of knowledge, no matter what dangerous places it might lead me to. I know there's a lot of plot. Like, the game has, like, it's wide open sandbox stuff, but also has, like, a lot of plot and, like, main campaigns and stuff you can follow. So, you know, if we can avoid any, like, crazy spoilers about stuff that will be cool for me to figure out later. That would be nice too. That would make a cool uh, Stellar Origin, a little bit. Um, Anti-aliasing is a, is a whole thing I'm sort of struggling with here. I'm still on my GTX 1080. I had to backtrack from my um, my Radeon 7900. Uh, so I can't run uh, MSAA or anything like that or the frame rate just tanks. Um, I think I am running FXAA, uh, but that's not much of an anti-aliasing thing. So. It's been years now since the gate to Aldrin shut down. I wonder how the people there are doing. Are they scared? Do they miss their loved ones? I wonder if we're ever going to hear from them. Spoiler, you will be in space with the spaceship. No, curse you, Worsington. And we're still mostly clueless about how the gates work and what affects them. We just take them for granted. They were built by Reapers. I know the story. It's Mass Effect all over again. Talk to whoever built them. Ask them why. Why build a network of gates and then leave? So many questions yet to be answered. Spoiler for Mass Effect. I guess the upside is that I won't run out of things to investigate anytime soon. Nargia, what are you doing? Are you off daydreaming again? Have you not read my message? I clearly stated the importance of this task. I have already set up all the instruments, and now I'm only waiting for you. Hurry up. We don't have all cycle. All right, Richard Feynman. That rings a bell. You ever worked on a... Uh, you, ever, you ever worked in Manhattan? Something like that. All right. So yeah, we're starting uh, on foot over here. And I believe we're on a space station at the start of this. I had loaded up this start, but I haven't actually played beyond that. Oh! Fish cookies. I don't think I can eat them, though. Do, 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 do. Cool neon effects. This is very... um. This looks very much like what people think the 80s looked like. Whereas the 80s were, in fact, brown. But yeah, it's very vaporwave a little bit. So, uh... Yeah, my mess... My, my job is, uh, deploy a satellite in target area undock. I think if I, um... Uh, on the, uh, the map screen here, this is also where we check our missions. Scientific preparation. If we open the briefing over here, after noting some strange readings, a scientific expedition is tasked with placing a few satellites in an attempt to get to the bottom of anomalous emissions. All right, mission type plot given to us by the Sagaris pioneers. Difficulty easy. Sounds great. We is here. We is here. So we'll just uh, go to our rapier, which is presumably our ship. Mm -hmm. This is our Wessel, I think, over here. I left the uh, the built-in... I don't know how much it shows up on the stream, but I did leave in the, the built-in Steam FPS counter in the top uh, left corner of the screen. How come I can't actually... Oh, does it not get captured? Oh, because it's an overlay. Oh, you guys can't actually see it. That's interesting. So yeah, currently I'm getting about 80 FPS. Uh, my monitor is set to 144 uh, refresh rate, which is... So theoretically, the fastest I could get. Um, yeah. So I've, you know, I've had to make a few, um, a few accommodations for various, uh, for various visual things. All right. Flight school has already taught you. Oh yeah. I, that's okay. I don't need the, um, I don't need the tutorial system. I got this. All right. 
I'm just going to go in and dock right away. Um, potentially, you know, there might be some like cool tips for like starting off. Are you, what are you spraying down my ship with? Anti-icer? Oh, huh, thanks dude. Um, we'll just go ahead and undock. You can see your ship from the, uh, the outside here. Uh, we can switch to a few different modes. This is a very vertical ship. It's just, the ship is all rudder, is what it feels like. This does make me feel like these are some of the ships I remember seeing in, like, EVE Online. A lot of the other ships are, like, maybe more classic-y, sort of sci-fi, like, sleek, flat fighter ships. This one is not. Everything about this, I'm getting a vibe that this is a different kind of ship. Oh, we have to do something incredibly important here. The incredibly important thing we have to do is we have to change our logo. So. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. There you go. Now I got my logo on the ship. I maybe should have made it um like pure white. Maybe I should have grayscaled it and just made it sort of a bright white to stand out more, but we'll see. Ba -ba -ba. Barak 500, thank you very much for the sub. Reminds you of freelancer somehow. Yeah, I mean, the thing is there's a lot of overlap in a lot of these space sims, which is just a great thing to do. So this is a different space station than any of the others. It's sort of the, this hangar bay is circular. How interesting. So we do have a quest marker put out over here. Um, well, is it selecting the luxury dock? Well, that might be what I have selected, but we do have a quest mark over there, empty which I suspect, space. yeah, right over there. Probably some empty space. That's probably where I'm supposed to deploy the satellite. Uh, my job is deploy satellite in target area. So that sounds about right. So let's go ahead and fly ourselves out of here. Now I'm going to try to be sort of, I'm sorry. Is there an it's enemy? critical that we stay on schedule. So please use your travel drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's a... There's a criminal. Stop right there, criminal scum. I've successfully defeated a criminal. I'll get a few bucks as a bounty. Empty space. All right. So yeah, well, let's, uh, I think shift one is the hotkey for travel drive. There you go. There's also autopilot, all kinds of things. So yeah, the max speed on the ship might be, I don't know, depends on the ship. Could be 200, 250 meters per second. Non-Newtonian physics, of course, are, I mean, these are video games we're talking about. So these things are required. But we can enter a travel mode where we're not very maneuverable. I can barely steer over here, but it dramatically increases our speed. Have you ever played the old game Freelancer? I have dabbled with it. As precisely as possible. Major deviations could result in incorrect data, and my experiment depends on them being accurate. I would do it myself, but I have to monitor the data as it comes in. <laughs> Look around the cockpit. We're closing in. Najia, please be precise. Is that my name? My character name? Najia? Looks like there's already a satellite here, I'm just saying. So yeah, if we open a margin of error when placing this one. As we can compensate for any deviation yeah the i think i'm outside of the uh the zone here there you go so yeah i'll just i'll just plant it next to whatever this thing is to the deployment area i'm working on it shush rick chill out it's just called a wreck all right good news everyone Gonna drift. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, turn off the assisted travel thing. Yeah, that that looks really cool. I might I might work my way to doing that, to doing like sideways drift shit. First time uh, playing an X game. Yeah. So other than doing the tutorial and a little bit of just like putting around just to get used to flight controls. Yeah. Uh huh. So presumably you're happy that I'm anywhere in this zone, but I'm still kind of thinking I'm gonna put it right next to this thing. It'll feel good. I'm using mouse and keyboard um, just because I did try with Hotas. Like, I'm used to using a joystick when I'm doing my flight simulator stuff, but in here it felt, I think, the movement almost felt too sharp, too digital, which makes sense because there's no like air resistance or anything like that. But it just, um, I, I don't know, it didn't feel good to me. So I'm just using mouse and keyboard and pretty pleased with it. Hey, QSERX, thank you. Mood boost. Well, I was also using speed boost too. Thank you very much. That is awfully nice. So I think I can deploy a satellite here, right? Yep. I have five satellites on me, presumably. So my current ship has a Terse or Tur S Pulse Laser Mark One. Oh, this is probably Terran Small Pulse Laser. Satellite deployed. First satellite deployed. Although it's hardly worth mentioning, as we need all three to gather useful data. I see the satellite. 
Oh, yeah, there it is. I just pooped it out behind me, right there. Okay. So next site is way over here. And we can do it for lazy mode is... Um, we do have a target. Now, I don't know if I could click on it in the map. Empty space. Actually, if I hit shift A, we can also autopilot, which is going to do exactly what I did, just did manually. Steer to it, engage travel mode. It'll drop me out of it, which is really convenient. You stream flight sims every now and again. I'm not convinced I can make flight sim streaming entertaining enough. I play a lot on my own, though. It's unfortunate that they're cut off again. It's almost as though the universe doesn't want us reunited. The universe is evil. It is known. And have access to soul in its full glory. Maybe one day you too will be granted access to Earth. You overlooked X4 because you associated with XCOM. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, but it's very different. Wreck. Wreck. Jump gate. Song. Yeah. Empty space. That's interesting. Some of the starts, I don't even know how to get to Soul from it. With positioning the second satellite. Okay. Well, we're clearly in the middle of the area. Thank you, autopilot. Second good? satellite deployment noted. One to go. Groovy. All right, let's do this flight manually. Travel mode on. Actually, you know what? What I like about autopilot, autopilot. is it means I can watch chat. We'll tell you that ship's made out of tinfoil. Take care of her. She's brand new. <laughs> do, 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 do. Interesting that you like spending so much time here. Most people prefer the relative peacefulness of Sol. I never thought I'd see the day when Brennan's triumph. This game is single player. The center of anarchy was as far as I know, purely single player. Terran forces. Given the history, you can see why the former Space Command chose to establish a connection. Right, chat needs watching. So chat needs babysitting. Can accomplish. X3, the best use for autopilot suicide. <laughs> a lot of people um, always praised X3, and for a long time with X4, they're like, yeah, but I don't know. But I think uh, at this point, X4 is like, yeah, if you're going to get into the, the, the X franchise, just, just go to X4. Options just reminds me of Endless Sky. Uh. Autopilot disengaged. All right, hit the, the brakes. Exact positioning is of the utmost importance for this one to get the optimal performance required for this experiment. It's probably a shortcut key to center the map on yourself. Actually, I thought there was like double click. I thought there was, but it looks like I'm in the zone. Thank you, autopilot. You're very helpful. Finally, third satellite deployed. It's about time. Artery center. Thanks, Sakakino. Sakakino seems to know a lot about this game. They were they were pretty clear early on that they'd be uh, they'd be giving us a lot of info dumps, which is good. All right, do we have a? Is that it? No follow up. I like how like the cockpit I'm in has some glare here because of the way these panels are set up on the cockpit. Oh, uh, wrong mode. This again. Uh, yeah, I'm down here. You can see these like these very flat kind of panels as part of the cockpit. And I like that when I'm in the cockpit, you can clearly see this. And as I turn, the sun glare is quite different. Okay. Is that really, is that really a bro? You're not, it looks oh. like your security clearance has been approved. Just wait. Please come and see me so we can discuss this in person. All right. Listen, your face is a little plasticky. So. Fly to Oberth, fly to Seoul. Is that really where I'm going? Oh, yeah. So I'm done with the system complete. So I was in the system Brennan's Triumph. My next quest involves going back to, well, the Seoul system is going to be, it looks like the, uh, the Neptune sector over here. Okay. Damon's a greasy dude, doesn't shower. Plastic's face, still better than EA animations. Yeah, I, um, I, uh, last week or the week before, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give Ma uh, Mass Effect Andromeda another try. Especially now, you know, I played it at release, but, you know, I got a bunch of patches and there was some like deal them, you know, people have modded things and I loaded up and I'm still like, oh, these faces are still pretty bad. Important question is there fuel. Can you soft lock yourself? I don't believe there's fuel in the game. I don't think you can get stranded. We're not going to need any fuel rats in this game. So is the most sectors, one for every planet. Huh? Yeah, it's it's vanilla, but with all the expansions that are currently out. So no mods. So here we got a bunch of, uh, hit the brakes. Okay. 
Entering system, Sol. Entered space protected by Terran Protectorate. There are items in your inventory that are illegal to the uh, Terran Protectorate. I'm sorry, I have illegal items in my inventory? Welcome, visitor, to pure and radiant Sol. Already? Bastion of peace and prosperity. If you too want to protect this utopia and the stars beyond, then do not hesitate. This propaganda. The soul-born militia welcomes any and all volunteers to join the foreign auxiliaries, subject to qualification, and contribute their expertise to help maintain the safety of the gate network. Remember, we are the shield wall of civilization. Would you like to know more? How's the sound balance, by the way? Shall overcome. You guys can hear the voices okay, but it's not too loud? So yeah, um, hang on, uh, stop. Forgot I wasn't on autopilot, see? Uh, I, I, I'm gonna have to make use of autopilot just so I can watch chat. Waiting on some of the team to arrive. In the meantime, perhaps you could do me a favor. I'm in need of an item not often found on the general market. Consider it a test of your resourcefulness or send over some details. Well, sounds like now you want me to buy something illegal. All right, hang on, go here. So yeah, um, so in my inventory, I have, I have two unstable crystals. How did I get unstable crystals? Illegal to cigars, pioneers, and Terran protectorates. Oh, did I get it from killing the criminals? Also, why am I being attacked? Is it because I'm carrying illegal shit? These items are often sourced from have I, have I, have I bricked my game already? Oh Lord. Okinawa, orbital logistics dock. Okinawa. I can eject bad things, but it might be too late. I may have missed those, uh, those messages. Orbital logistics dock. Oh God. I told it to stop, but maybe not quickly enough. Could you, could you let me dock? Docking aborted. No. Docking granted. Thank you. Where's my little green arrows? I just want to dock and get out of the combat here. Oh, that's not the entrance. Sometimes, oh Jesus. Oh, should not boost because that's going to kill my shield. The um, the green things that lead you to a docking port are not very helpful if you're quite close. There it is. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Yeah, the check engine light came on. That seemed bad. Hang on. All right, stop, level out, scooch to the left. I'll make sure you regret that. Uh, I think I was drifting forward still. There you go. You have a good aim for me. Oh, am I facing the wrong way around? No. Yeah, I might want to get the auto docking computer. There it is. Oh yeah, my nose one's in line. That was the problem. Successfully there you go. docked. Okay, can I sell these illegal crystals? Welcome. Engaging. Or do you just not buy them? You can likely find the dealer in the bar. Knowing you, you're probably already acquainted. And your voice is a little lower than you like. Um, I don't see the illegal crystals here, although this is looking at ship storage. Do I have to, um, get out of the ship and go talk to a trader on foot to get rid of these space crystals? I mean, I know I can just eject them, but I got them. Yeah, go out and trade. Okay, let's do that. Let's take a look at the audio really quick. Um, yeah, see the voice is as loud as it can be. Although what I can do is I can make sure, yeah, if I do this, I can boost the OBS recording. Most likely other parts of the game will be a little loud. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring down everything else a little bit, but this should make the voice a little stronger. I don't know if I'm at a dock the right place for whatever this guy wants me to buy. I was just freaking out because I think I was, you know, maybe getting shot at a little bit. Rapier.
Excuse Hello. me. Where can I find uh, the trader? Sending you information now. Thank you. I appreciate it. Didn't I get a little green path to follow? Hmm. I should probably just use the lift, but it looks like it's right over here. There you go. Hey. Hello there. You want to buy some crystals? Can I help? Here you go. Oh, I don't think she's buying them. Maybe because they're illegal here. That's entirely possible. Maybe I should just ditch them. Goodbye. Only trader in the bar. Oh. Uh, Alright, let's go to the bar. Illegal trader in the bar. Okay. Of course. That makes sense. Do, 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 do. Oh, the, okay. So the bar in one of the stations where, where I started. Oop, can't get through there. Are, are you a trader? You're a crew woman. Hello. You want to buy some death sticks? No. Goodbye. You can hire all these people for your ships as well. Like, we're on a tiny little one-person ship. But you can get, like, big freighters. Oh, hello. Black Marketeer. Show me your wares. Here you go. Unstable crystals. I can sell you a few, couple of those. All right, let's just get rid of those. And they wanted me to... I think the quest was for the AGI processor. Hang on. Good luck out there. Acquire AGI processor. Yep. Can I help? Here you go. I guess... It, did I start with the crystals so I'd have enough money to buy the AGI processors? Because this is using all of my money. Yeah, some people are, um, some people are crap. Good luck out And, like, will cost you, like, 4000 or something to hire. Some people are good and cost over a million to hire. There's a wide range of stuff. All right, let's check this crewman. How much were you? Hello. Can I talk to you? No? Maybe because you're on a move? Maybe you're already hired by someone. I don't know. Maybe you're just busy. Can you show us your favorite store in the Citadel? Oh, Hello. Now I can talk to you. Yeah, so you're 653,000. I think the cost sort of goes up kind of an exponential thing with their stars. Because I think people with, like, no more than one star, those are the Goodbye. people that are going to be, you know, four digits. Um, Where's my ship? I took, I took the elevator to my rapier. I was kind of expecting it to be there. I think I can hit Shift D to, act, to automatically teleport to my ship, but I kind of wanted to just walk there. But there we go. Yeah. I wonder if I was like on the far side of a platform. Oh, maybe I was on the other side of this little uh, bridge structure and I couldn't see it. That's possible. All right, I have to go and deliver these processors now. Uh, this is really interesting, this ship here with like all glass, barely anything in the way. So again, if I get scanned, I'm going to get shot at. So let's try to avoid that. You know? Pro tip, let's try to avoid getting shot. Autopilot engaged. Does their experience level stars tied to their pay scale? I mean, I know that their, their pay scale is based on their experience. Yeah, I think it, it just it scales up really fast. Oh, am I just uh, dropping it off over here at the Ober? Autopilot disengaged. Okinawa research. Docking granted. Nice. Oh, we're just going to dock up here. Nice. Can I dock in either direction? Maybe there's no front. I was a little worried that there had been, but it looks like it's fine. All right, hit the brakes. Use the arrow keys to rotate myself. There we go. Now I'm facing correctly. Roll. Permission to dock. That way. Docking Roll forward. Permission. And down. There we are. Either way, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Nitpicky distinction, no experience, only Successful ranks. Ranks are rolled and each time action is completed. So. Get up. I guess there's a force field here to keep the, uh, the air in. Man, my ship is so tall. 
There you go, and I got a marker for the quest. Keep the space out. Yeah, it's not about keeping the oxygen. Keep the space out. Keep out the suck. Keep out the vacuum. Um, I'm trying to click you. Why can't I interact with you? Game? Anyone experience this? Does anyone have an easy fix for like, hey, the elevator's not working. Just save and reload? That was a quick Hello. bug. Oh! Oh, no, I didn't want to talk to you. Goodbye. Okay. Hello. I wonder... Goodbye. Are you using the elevator? Is it locked to you? Yeah, we might need a quick save reload. If you have the can't click bug, press F2, then F1. Oh, like external view, internal view? Hey, thanks! Okay. Bridge, current location. Oh, that's funny. The lady actually took the turbo lift to the bridge, which is where I had to go. I'm like, how did I get to the bridge already? There we go. Is that you? Dr. Rick Feynman. Yeah, yeah, you are weirdly shiny. It must be, probably has to do with my, C, uh, my GPU and something about my rendering mode. But all right. Deliver. All matching items, okay. Or just individual mode. Good job. You're just in time. We're about ready to dis. No, I'm Quill 18. Just in time was a villain in Carmen San Diego. Is this the ship I'm on? Is it jumping away? No, that's not the one. I think the one in the background is the one I'm currently docked to. Well, maybe not. Oh, we're definitely moving. We're on our way towards a facility very important to the future of our people. It recently not GPU is just one of the Vaseline hats. Some unknown spatial distortion. That's why you trying to learn how to board a ves a vessel so I can hijack pirates. I hear that's a good way to make a lot of money. Exceptional. I welcome you to the team. Unfortunately, our limited resources force us to make a minor detour. A number of satellites have been targeted by. I like how you can own capital ships in here that you can like park your own ships onto and carry around. You can have drones for mining, for maybe fighting. I don't know. Let's get to and work. you can hire you can hire pilots for your ships and have like a huge fleet of like a hundred vessels out there trading automatically for you or mining and you can build your own star bases um, and get blueprints for more and bigger more intricate modules that you keep expanding to your star base until it's like mega thing. Uh, it's really cool. I don't I don't know how to do any of that yet, but I know it exists. Okay, apparently uh, there are some satellites I need to repair. I wasn't actually listening to uh, to Rick there, which I feel bad about, but. I bet you that means we're gonna have to do a spacewalk. Cool. Pay attention, there's a new subscriber. You can park your ship on another ship that is docked on another ship. It's awesome. Yo, dog! I heard you like docking. You can dock while you dock. In X3, I had a trading empire, 55 or so trade ships that automatically threw around space making you money. Yeah, that's the thing. You can like start this sort of like passive income kind of vibe. Uh, who is new subscriber? Well, we had Corvus who just resubbed. Oh no! You just subbed for six months! Holy cow! Thank you, Corvus! You can repair your ship as well, you're out there. Wait, can I can repair my own ship with the repair beam? Really? Rapier. I didn't know that. Also, how do I check to see um, my own ship's like... Is it still damaged? Or is it okay? Oh yeah, I'm at 93% hull. Um... Well, from the turbo lift, it gave me the option of uh, switching to my spacesuit. Like, I can't, I can't repair now, right? No. I guess I'll just repair my ship while we're out there. The game appeals to the male fancy, retiring on passive income. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I see three satellite sites, which seems to match up with the other uh, quest I've got. And yeah, I love how, like, there's just tons of activity. Satellite. All right, let's go to this one. Pilot engaged. Or apparently we're going to that one, even though I clicked over there. Small ships are easy to repair. You can do the XL one, but that's asking for a long time. Repair, repair the missiles with the repair. Repair satellites with the repair missile. Mm -hmm. It's like when you um, I've run into like the lockbox in this, 
where like I forgot to get like um uh, like a little handheld laser for my spacesuit. So I'm like trying to target them with my ship weapons, like to blow off the locks, and of course they just blow up the lockbox. That's right, you can focus on other ships. So if you have something selected, is it F3? Yeah, there you go. We can move on to that. Baldrick. Or I can do this and see the Baldrick. Remember, this is critical work. Those satellites don't just help with our research. They also serve as a sensor net. Mm-hmm. Satellite. Yeah, got a repair laser. Mm-hmm. Autopilot disengaged. Okay, we're going to park ourselves and get a little closer. I wonder where the, um, uh, the entry hatch is on this ship. On the one in the uh, young gun, it's on the belly of the ship. So when I'm I'm coming out to like unload to do things, I found it quite handy to sort of face the belly. But I'm just going to uh, scooch a little closer in any case. There we go. We'll do that. All right. Is it control D to get out? Rapier. All right. Use spacesuit. There we are. Looks like it's still the belly. All right. Halt. Momentum. Let's just give a, a little scooch forward over here. Um, I'm sorry. Is that an enemy ship? Okay. It seems to have disappeared. That's good. Like it's gonna blow me up while I'm just hanging out here. That's gonna be terrible. Satellite. I don't know what the range of my repair beam is. Oh, I can see the meter going up. Excellent. Okay, you're full. Now, I got a little green arrow that does point to my ship. What I'm going to do is just right move here. back up to it and see about doing some little repairs on my vessel here. Oh, there we go. The hull's going up. 100%. There we go. See, it just buffed out. Docking granted. I hope docking is granted. Oh, yeah, so right at the bottom of my ship is where my cockpit is, and it looks like that's where the hatch is. Apply the duct tape beam. Oh, no, wait, it's just behind the cockpit. Ah. Yeah, there it goes. Excellent. All right. I got to do that another couple of times. Satellite. Lasers both break and fix ships. How do they know what to do? <laughs> They're technically two different weapons, and I don't think my uh, my spacesuit currently doesn't isn't equipped with a um, a damaging beam. Is someone closer. Satellite. 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 I don't know. I guess the uh, autopilot is just doing these in some sort of order. That's fine. They're both pretty close. But yeah, when we get a couple more bucks, I'll have to um, get myself a uh, a mining laser or whatever it's called. Just change the color of the laser, change what it does, easy peasy, yeah. Makes Elite's on-foot stuff seem really bad. Yeah, so I've played some Elite Dangerous, I've never done any of the on-foot stuff. I don't think you can land on planets or anything in this game. But I do like that you can walk around the space stations. It gives me, it's like, it, it, to me it's like, it feels like No Man's Sky, but there's like, more defined oh, gameplay, disengage. and more the kind of gameplay I like. I mean, admittedly, again, not the planetary exploration and no base building, although you can build spaceships, and that's cool. All right, or not spaceships. Rapier. Well, I mean, yes, you can order new spaceships to get built. But you can't design them. You can do a ton of stuff to like change the mo the modules on your ships. But I meant uh, Starbase. So yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to keep up the like story text without making the computer sounds too loud. But maybe now that I've adjusted things, maybe I'll bring everything down just a tiny scooch here. I want to be able to hear like the quest givers, or I want you guys to be able to hear the quest givers. Satellite. I don't want you to be deafened by uh, a little computer, if at all possible. You tend to build a station? I mean, probably at some point, yeah. Sounds great. I think the stations can act as a big uh, cash multiplier. Plus, I mean, you can use it to just claim sectors. I think it's possible to like conquer all of space in this game eventually, if you want to take that much time. Rapier. Docking granted. 
Do, 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 do. You want to build a snowman? So I just spent the uh, the weekend with a bunch of my nibblings, and there was a little bit of like watching Frozen, singing along to Frozen going on. Apparently that that just that hasn't gone away. Well, I mean they they some of them weren't even born I think when Frozen came out, so it's like it's not a continued obsession; it's a new obsession for the next generation. Satellite. Wouldn't it be funny if your own ship denied you docking? Yeah, just like left out here floating in space. Wondering what to do. Have you read Solaris? No, I have not. I haven't played Avarian. There was another game uh, someone mentioned as a as something that people play as Eve Offline when I made a reference to this being Eve Offline. Um, and it looked kind of good. Whoa, hang on, what was it? Astrox Imperium. Um, and it looked it looked fine. But I kind of think this might be a better fit for me. We'll see. But in any case, for now, it's, this is great. Astrox Online seems like it still has a lot to do. Long way to go. Satellite. Could probably check the um there it is looks like about 25 meters is when it uh, kicks into range i could probably check the specs of this um it it's already 100 percent this takes a sec to register rapier docking granted all right we gotta go back and talk to rick oh geez rick I fixed those satellites you wanted me. Do, 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 do. We're going back to Auburth? Yeah, we are. Okay. Autopilot. You autopilot so I can have a drink and watch chat. <laughs> no, Kerbal will be back. But there's an expansion for this dropping on Wednesday. So I wanted to do a practice stream before we take a look at the uh, the new stuff on Wednesday. And actually, um, just because there's an expansion, we could actually continue this this save over there, as from what I understand it, unless we specifically wanted to play as one of the new origins. Enemies are not always enemies. Could be criminal flagship. He has something in cargo that isn't legal. Oh, that's right. Just because I see a red blip doesn't mean they're attacking me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hell, if anything, I'm the one who attacked some criminals a second ago. Okay. Uh, Autopilot disengaged. Okinawa, research. Requested. And what? All right, overshot a little bit. It's fine. I think one of the first thing we will do when we have a little bit of uh, spare money is we will buy one of the advanced docking uh, computers so that, um, you know, we don't, we don't have to dock like a pleb over here and just get the computer to do it for us. Um, the one thing I would, I don't, tell me if it exists. Is there um, a straf or strafe? Do people say straf or strafe? Um, a forward and backwards button. Because I can go like left and right and I can go up and down. But so far, the only way I know about going forward and backwards is to throttle up or throttle down. Okay, typing it out doesn't help. Because <laughs> so... <laughs> Because the whole problem is I don't know what the F-E or an F-F pronunciations are. Uh, you can remap that? Okay, so there is a strafe forward backwards button, I guess. All right, let's go and uh, talk to Richard Feynman. It's pronounced GIF, exactly. Hey, we made it to the bridge ourselves. We didn't need someone to come in and push the button for us. It's like we're looking at this and like, okay, there are three seashells. I can't figure out how to use the transporter. Hello. Now that that's out of the way, we can finally get on with our primary task. I can hardly wait. Oh yeah, double tap forward to run, which I hate. I keep trying to hold shift to run. 
Ah, I guess the Oberth is moving again. Three seashells, corner store of future civilizations. Exactly. Exactly. I'll wipe you out. Docking complete. And here we are. As you know, this is we a high dock to an asteroid? Facility. Just because you have clearance to do your job, it doesn't mean you can go wandering off or touch everything. It is currently unmanned and in safe mode until we can sugar glaze? damage and ensure no further anomalies occur. Do you know what causes those anomalies? I'm not at liberty to divulge such information. He doesn't know. Rest assured, you will be safe to perform your duties. We begin by repairing the external structure. Get into your spacesuits and prepare to be guided to your assigned positions. Nicole does not use the three seashells. There's some people who probably have not seen the excellent cinematic masterpiece that is Demolition Man and don't necessarily know what we're talking about. Highly recommend. I mean, admittedly, I haven't seen it in a while. I think it's one of those, I don't know if it's a good movie, but it's a great movie. You know? You know what I mean? Uh, repair, undock. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening to a good old Rick here. Mm -hmm. What was my quest? Oh, maintenance duty. Wow, we have all the exciting jobs in this particular story here, but I like it, you know, down in the nitty gritty. I mean, we did blow up a random criminal scum at some point because, you know, bonus. And the thing is, we could just totally ignore this. I could be like, you know what? I don't want to get involved in this. Like, let's let's load up the trading um, and the mining screen. Uh, there might be some uh, there might be some random missions on offer. Hey, look at this. The uh, Terran Alliance, they uh, they want uh, some defenders over here to go and uh, uh, escort some uh, war support transports. Like, I go and do whatever I want right now. But let's keep going with this quest because, you know, why not? Right. OK, what was that? Maintenance duty. Security clearance not approved. You are to join a team of engineers to carry out some crucial repairs. Before work can begin, there's several tasks to be done. Okay, one, two, three. Step three is repair damage. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Am I going back to my ship? Okay, yeah. Step is undock, so we'll do that. Again, I think I can hit shift D to teleport to the ship. But there is something quite satisfying about, you know, walking Wait, and yeah. having that sense of physicality. You can also, if you do own, um multiple ships, you can instantly teleport to them even if they're across the galaxy. Well, the damage is at this station. Oh, it looks like it's under construction still. I don't know. Let's, uh, we'll move forward a little with the ship. So clearly we're gonna have to go and do some more EVA repair activities. I feel like a Kerbal, you know? We gotta get uh, Bob Kerman out there. Where's it, Bill? Which one's the engineer? I think Bob's the scientist. We can also, um, we can also enter scanning mode. Ah, signal source, hold on. There's a, there's an anonymous signal somewhere over here. I remember that from playing three years ago. So what you can do for these stations, you can sort of like, in scanning mode, which you can access over here. Um, I mean, you can swing by things to scan the parts, but it also let you know if there's an anomalous signal that if you fly right next to it, you can like get a blueprint or some shit. Now it's got the signal strength meter. I don't think it actually gets stronger or, or weaker. Oh, signal lost. Oh, that's probably when I change modes. Yeah, I don't know. In any case, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pop out there and repair. Up. Where's the where's the thing I have to repair? Just back out here. Did I overshoot it? Well, it was right in front of my ship, wasn't it? Could I just not see it? Is it this thing? I see these two. I scanned it away. Wait, did scanning it fix it? Oh, am I just here to pick up signal sources? 
Oh my god. I was just talking about saying I thought I thought I'm on a repair job. Repair damage. Maybe I have to scan all these places Wait first. Here. And then one of those will be the thing I have to repair. I was just randomly talking about scanning. I didn't realize that was actually my quest. I'm good at this, you guys. Paying attention. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the anomalous signal isn't even showing up. Go, go, space IT job. So I guess this is sort of tutorializing me on some of these things. Ooh, Sparky. Headquarters. Oh, I was going to say, I'm probably not in scan mode. That's right. There we go. There we go. There you go. Scream decrypted. We're picking up strange Data decrypted. Again. You better get back to the ship. Okay. Wait, where's the ship? There? Gravimetric shields. Disengage docking clamps. What? What's happening? Um. What is this? Some large artificial structure. So this is what was on the other side of the tear. It does seem that our investigation has led to some potentially groundbreaking... New phone, who dis? Assistant? Assistant? Can you hear me? Oh dear. It seems that they were either vaporized or pulled through the rift themselves. Yeah, what the hell just happened? I agree. So I don't think I did anything wrong. I think this is the story? You there. Are you all right? Who the hell are you? Who are you? My name is Bozo Tar. Some might call me one of the foremost minds of the current age. If anyone knew I existed, that is. Oh, you're swimming in a tank. Um, where am I? You are in Talani space. Assuming you know what a Talani is, but uh, never mind. Uh, I that. don't. Did you perhaps get pulled through the rift along with this station? You did this? Now, now. Let us keep a calm demeanor. Otherwise, your oxygen intake may increase rapidly. I will send a ship to your location. I do hope you will tell me where you have come from. First, let's get you to safety. I mean, he seems nice enough. Yes, or they seem nice enough. Safe. Achievement unlocked, rise in property values. I think with every starting scenario, there's an early achievement to like show that like, that way the developers know that like people are, are, are doing them. Systems ...and appear to have gained significant access. I have oh so many questions I would like answered. But unfortunately, it seems I must go. You see, I am not currently supposed to be working on this project. It appears that I am at a disadvantage and find myself in trusting stewardship of the station to you. Ha! For all I know, you are an enemy agent already privy to the inner workings of this- Oh, way over here! Oh, in the Grand Exchange! I not use it for nefarious purposes while I am absent. Built dock area. I'm sorry. Am I- am I going into spaceship building right away? I'm sorry. What? Displaced medium. Apparently pulled through the spatial rift along with mysterious pioneer station. You must find your way to safety. Step. My current step is build dock area. So I was going to say, it looked like I own this Gilmot Sentinel, and I think that's the case. Um, what are you? Talati playboy, adventurer, so-and-so, popularized the Gilmot through his atypical antics. Unlike his entrepreneurial peers, Yaya built his web through a series of daring scout and courier missions. Is this, what is this? Oh, it's a scout ship. Ship gave me a scout and a station. Oh, okay, the pioneer station that apparently got yeeted through this. Headquarters. That's the Grand Exchange. It's owned by me. This is this my station? I didn't think. You broke it. You bought it. I did. Okay. <laughs> I did not think that's what the story was going to be about, but I like it. Um, I think I can 
I, I didn't I didn't end up doing any of the tutorial -y stuff for space stations because I didn't realize it was going to be this early. Um, I don't none none of the other stories I think get you to build space station space station ASAP. But yeah, we can go into this build plan mode. Select dock module section on the left. All right. So this dock probably comes in a box. Select a dock module construct. Standard three dock T or four M ten S. Oh. This is probably one medium, six small. This uh, maybe just a T junction rather than the actual dock by itself. This is four medium, 10 small luxury. Selected a dock area module. These are used by small and medium shifts to dock at stations. I don't know. I'm going to build a smaller one with the assumption that you need less material. T dock is for large ship. Okay. Three dock is for large and XL ship. Okay. So I'm going to get a one medium, six small standard dock. If you wish to construct this manual, you can include in your construction plan. Oh, there is. Go I was going to say it snaps to stuff, right? So it can snap there. Oh, is the green markers? These are places I can snap it to. So it just it's just got these two possible connections. It looks like right now. So I don't know. I'll click here. When satisfied with the modules placement, press confirm module changes. Okay. This is a huge station that the game has given me. You're gonna need money. I bet I am. Um, so I'm gonna confirm this plan because you need a bunch of resources and stuff too. I think we can buy the station, the resources manually, or yeah, if we get a second ship. Um, I'm gonna need a pilot for that ship unless it came with one. All right, I'm gonna hit confirm. There's an estimated cost for construction. Allocating credits will allow local freighters to supply construction resources. I don't see. Oh, this is highlighted. Manage by offers for needed resources. 184,000 credits. Available money for construction is, well, kind of nothing. Construction requires a construction vessel to be assigned. Assign or hire a builder. Currently filter show suitable ships for hire. I, I probably can't hire anyone. No vessels found, consider deploying additional satellites. Okay. Listen, um, game. I think you I think this scenario maybe threw me a little more into a deep den than I ex expected. But alright. Hang on. Uh slider for assigned money. Oh there you go. But I don't have any money. There, 567 credits is literally all I have to my name. Let's um let's close this for a second. You have a construction ship in V range, and it's fifty thousand higher one. Oh, I do. Yeah, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to do some questing over here. I think. Fly around, find new missions and stations. Yeah. Main mission line is meant to be something you do bit by bit in your progress. Okay. Um, because yeah, as I understand, the Terran Cadet one really sort of does like hold your hand a little bit more, but this is fine. Um, let's look for mission offers. Steady trigger finger required. This is really cheap. Oh, to destroy mines. Okay. Now, I, I mean, we don't have a combat ship, so I don't know about like doing Defenders of Soul, but we could do something like that. Um, the other thing we could do is actually just fly around a bit and find things. I think one of the things we could do as well is if I go and enable long range scanner mode and pulse. Depending on the direction I pulsed in, if I can tell the facing. There you go. It'll, it'll pick up these unknown stations over here, so I can start visiting them. Yeah, you can mine resources. You can sell your second ship or hire a captain to have them fly around dropping satellites. Autopilot Let's engaged. go and look around in this system. Oh, Defender Soul is the Terran Cadet start. Oh, really? So I think my autopilot will try to go around this rock. I, f I found it in my testing to be kind of inconvenient. Like it's almost better to like manually fly sort of above the elliptical plane and then autopilot to not deal with this kind of stuff. Got to go, Kastavad. Any questions you have, I understand. Send the info your way. Have fun. Well, thanks, uh, Sekakino. Autopilot. Turn that off. Disengaged. Manually, manually go into travel mode.
We weren't very far from these stations. And then now that I'm here, so there's an ice refinery over here. Can I mine these rocks? Hang on. We had some space rocks. Now, I don't have like a specialized mining laser, I don't think. Uh, if I go here, what is my gun? Oh, yes, that's right. It's a pulse laser. Yeah, crystal hunting. So, I think... Uh, I did this in a tutorial. But I, you turn on you turn on scanning mode and does it, like, highlight awesome crystal bits or whatever? Bust mining makers shine, shine... Shoot it and see what happens. Asteroid. Like, whoops, wrong button. I guess the uh, the distance here is the distance to the center, not the distance to the uh, surface. Crystal mining got nerfed. Um, I th as what I understood from what I saw a post somewhere um, on Reddit was like, if you find one, then like for the next 30 minutes, you won't find another like super wealthy crystal spawn. Something like that. I can't. Asteroid. I think we can't click on you. It's too far away. Asteroid. You're a different color. What are you? Ore. I mean, I don't think I have much in the way of cargo capacity or anything. You can get mining drones and stuff to make this really easy for you, too. And then the big capital ships, like, the guns are all just like turrets that auto target for you, which is nice. Yeah, what we need to do, I think, is I need to probably go. Oh, what is this little orange blob? I probably need to go to a station, find a really cheap captain, and put him on the other ship, and then tell to do stuff. Or I could sell the other ship, but we've got one. There you go. I got a space rock. I think I can use O to, like, vacuum up stuff, because you can also just run into things. Might not be close enough. Asteroid. Wait, did it just clip inside? It looked like something was floating out there. Hmm. If container storage is not shipped, not raw resources. Oh, can I not pick up just raw ore? Oh, I need inventory. Okay. Well, that's fine. Component factory. So, I mean, these things will, like, sell, buy and sell goods. Let's pop up next to some of these bad boys. Now, it did mention with the construction ship, put satellites... And I did see um, a video. I didn't watch any any real Let's Play, but I did see a video of some people like put a satellite near like shipbuilding stations and things like that. Is that just so that you're aware of ships that exist or something? Get a cheap mining ship, a cheap captain, good for early game money. Okay. Whoop! Manually dock the build storage by requesting docking permission. Yeah, okay. Get jump gates over there. Barbarossa. I'm sorry. Is that a wreck? Can I go and, like, strip that down for material? If you place a satellite, you can order ships to be built remotely. Oh, the satellite would give us a connection to that station so we can place orders there. Ah, and keep track of the trade price of the station. Okay, as opposed to just last time you visited it. Now, in the tutorial, um, they get you to, like, visit a wreck and then EVA out and, like, pop open some lockboxes. Although I don't have a handheld laser, so maybe that wouldn't even be an option for me. Look at the uh, magnetic lines around. Oh, is that my station? I think it is. Autopilot engaged. 
Use them to see live feed at any stations. I use them to keep an eye on hardcore lanes like hostiles. Okay. Um, Auto autopilot, you're just gonna disengage. get myself killed here, so. Just manually travel mode. Doo -doo -doo. Autopilot. Ah, I got a clear line. I'll go and turn on the autopilot. What's this Solar station? Solar power plant. Solar power plant. Okay. Well, I don't know if you're gonna autopilot. have anything Disengage. terribly useful for me. Let's send out a pulse in a different direction. See if we pick up some more stations over here. I know the other thing you can do is if you watch and you see traffic coming to and from a certain area, there's probably a station over there. Oh yeah, I probably have to update the uh, Moobot. Um, it's called Project Genesis, right? I know the frame rate's gonna go poopy because I'm tabbed out here. Autopilot and uh, what game? Oh, no, that's been updated. Thanks, Essentia. Solar power plants, station all the NPCs want will hardly will pay hardly anything for. Really? And I think, is should one of the things I do when I approach a station, should I just turn on my sensor to see if there's like um, a data thing to read at any given one. Disengaged. Like I don't see anything on my little sensor, so. Quantum tube factory. Oh, this place makes quantum tubes. It's very exciting. I was just curious because some people were asking about the start, but if it's in the what game? Uh, I mean, I could just dock here and see if I can get myself a pilot. Like any station might have someone I can hire. That might be trash, although... Oh, wait, I can't afford anything right now. I have zero money. Okay, do you have any missions over here? Try not to crash into anything. Into thin air. Lockbox. See, again, but I need a hand laser to be able to open the lockbox. So that's not going to work. How can I bootstrap my money? Autopilot. Engaged. The ship you got has the biggest cargo space in the scout class. Can be used as a little freighter. Yeah, but every time I try to... Although, the, I, my previous ship didn't have a laser. So, I hear lasers are maybe a little bit better for doing lockboxes. Because when I tried it before, I mostly just blew up the lockbox. But maybe I could try that one. I mean, if I fail, it'll be hilarious, right? Autopilot. Disengage. Okay, and yeah, the, some people are saying the other scout, the other ship has like hey, a lot of... Um, There's a new subscriber. Cargo capacity? So that's good. Tell you what, we'll do it. We'll do this lockbox with this ship. Empty space. Jim Lemon, thanks for the sub. We'll try to do the lockbox with this ship. And then, yeah, we'll just teleport to the other one. Didn't the fish tell you it was a little bit of money, too? Pretty sure it said something about money. I don't know, maybe. Uh, I sold the crystals to buy a bit for a quest thing already. So I don't have those illegal crystals anymore. I kind of wish I did. But yeah, I'll teleport to the other ship after and we'll see what the deal is. So I think that marker was just for the... Oops. Button, um, was just for the general area, which I've now overshot. Somewhere in here will be a lockbox. You do not have teleportation yet. Oh, do I need something to be able to teleport between ships? Oh, I thought, I, I, I didn't know. I thought that was just out of the box. That... Crane, mineral, sentinel. Okay, that's probably not something I should be shooting. How do I find the lockbox? User scanner. Okay. Scanner mode on. Like regular scanner? Does it show up as a blip? I mean, I can hit turn. page down to target. Vault, anti Vault, I, crane, turn. Vault, and Vault, I, crane, turn. Vanguard. 
Hold F. No, you're saying long range. Okay. The long range. And it's not hold F, it's hold R. Yeah, I know how to do the long range scanner. I just didn't know that's how you did the lockboxes. Research teleportation. Oh. So I guess the tutorials with the teleportation are just there to... To teach you, but it's not... Oh! Unlock... There we go. So pick the right direction, hit it with the long-range scanner. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. That's exactly why we're doing the stream here. Now, let's see if I can blow up all the locks off this thing. There's four locks. There are four locks. Break, 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 break. I'm up on that a lot faster than I expected. Okay, I think they're on the bottom. Now, I think middle click. Middle click will target where my mouse is. Okay, go away. Yeah. Save. Uh, is there a quick save button? Manually save. F5. Okay. Standard quick save button. I'm doing it. Ejecting. I'm sorry, what? Successful. Why did I die? When do you say that box is trapped? What? <laughs> they can be trapped? Is that like, <laughs> is this quest a trick? Or is there a safer way to disarm this? Man, I definitely would have been died if I'd just been out there in my spacesuit. Did I, oh, did I shoot the, uh, the box and that caused it to blow up? As opposed to lock? Because I did pluck off a couple of locks. And back up a little bit. Yeah, it's the white thing, not the target. That's right. Okay. Lock box. Okay. Why is the why is the thing going up and down? Why is it not always locked where my mouse is? Oh, because sometimes I'm just facing empty space. Okay. Lock two. Lock. Okay, one more left. Why is this one blinking blue? Oh no, okay, stop now, good. Hey, I did it! Vacuuming up the items. Found, one of you, wait, there's another lockbox? Is that a bunch of dynamite attached to the side of it? Maybe just gas canisters. One of the first mods, mods I installed auto open lock boxes. Well, I can sort of see why. Long range scan mode. Pulse. I could probably just do a short pulse because oh, no. it's not very close. Or it's not very far. As far as I know, the longer you hold it, the more range your uh, scan is, but. All right. We'll park, we'll quick save again. I guess I could have travel moded up. Although I probably would have wish shot. I guess I could have autopiloted over here. Come to a full and complete stop. Quick save. All right. Hey, is it someone from Egosoft here? Hello. I'm sorry I'm dumb. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. Okay. Um, why is the, why is my little targeting dot not following my cursor? Is it because I'm still in scan mode?
Okay, now it is. You shoot empty space oil and stick. Okay. Let me get a little closer. And stop. Maybe a little closer. Okay. Um. I'm targeting the box and help as well. Oh, because it is it trying to snap to the target? Yeah. Okay, I think I have to aim a little lower. All right. Oh, I think I shot the debris. Okay. Vacuum mode. Done. We got 47,000 space bucks, you guys. I don't even have to turn it in. Really? Ooh. Oh, I literally found a needle in space. That's what people were saying. Rare spices, carbon filter. All right. I'm playing the US DLC. I'm playing with all the DLC currently out. The next expansion comes out on Wednesday. I don't have that yet. Okay. Dave's looking at Haystack. So. Well, let's fly down here. Cause so one thing with the um the offered missions, is it all missions in the sector that I'm in from spaceports that I'm aware of? Like, um, what's the best way to make sure I can see as many missions as possible? No? Autopilot engaged. Maybe you get to keep the unimportant stuff in the boxes. They just teleport the goods they want. Yeah, maybe that makes sense. Only area around you. So if I want to find more missions, oh, well, one of the things I could do is just maybe go through some of these jump gates. Can I go through it at max speed? I can. I think the space highway one. System. Grand um, you can't really go through if you're like super speeding, right? So we are. Oh, maybe I just bounced off it. Because I'm still in the same sector. Jump gate, Nopalias Yeah, fortune. I did not go to Nopalias' fortune. You can scan around space stations for secret missions. Yes, I did remember that from like three years ago when I played for like... I think I put in a total amount of it, like eight hours of playtime. That was including all the tutorials like from three years ago. And yeah, um, I did find like a little signal thing and it did lead me to some sort of quest with something like a trader's unit that starts with an H. Yeah, we're just going to pop through here and we'll check the offered missions again. Uh, we're in Nip Nopelios's fat fortune. Napoleon's fortune. Entering system. Nopelia's fortune. There it is. Okay. So we're properly here. Offered missions nothing we just have this one important mission from like the plot thing we got a dust factory why would anyone want to make dust dust some sort of drugs see this ship is going oh and no, i think they just entered this jump gate you know what we could do is we could take a big ride down the super highway let's do that i remember that being fun and a great way to like just open up tons of space super highway unknown sector because your autopilot knows how to use it and everything You need to know the station to give you missions. That sounds right. Okay. Highway to the danger zone. There you go. Entering Nopalia's fortune. What oh, does it end there? But you can get on. Um, looks like there's another highway entrance. Highway. Straight ahead here. You can get on this and like just ride it through like 20 systems, can't you? think so. In the travel mode here. Oh, three inactive missions. Is that... Hang on. Is that a good hint that there's offered missions boot in a boot? No. Oh, I get my upkeep missions and stuff. Yeah, okay. That's why. What did I do? How come I didn't enter that? Was I going too fast? Is 
Did I enter the wrong side? You had to hit blue strip. But I, I think I can enter it from like from anywhere on this highway, right? If I just go and kind of whack this here. Because I think you can enter an exit. Yeah! There we go. I have become speed. It hasn't actually marked like maybe the entrance exits on my point here. But there you go. We just burn through. Yeah, baby. Woo! Um, I was gonna say, I hope I don't hit that asteroid. Yeah, we're going super fast. So yeah, that's my space station. We, that's cool. I can't believe we get to start with a space station with this campaign. It's a little intimidating for a noob like me, but still super cool. Oh, there we go. We got a space station. Dirty deeds. Are they done dirt cheap? Well, they're not actually that cheap. Do I have to go and kill something? Maybe seen as a criminal activity. Yeah, again, we, we have a wimpy little scout ship, although I could still check the other one. So if I can't teleport from one ship to another right now, I guess my thing would be to fly to my other ship. What did it exit me from the, the thingy? Fly to my other ship, pilot that for a little while. Spaceweed farm? I'm sorry. Spaceweed? Autopilot engaged. Yeah, the problem, oh, now that's right. We have money now. I can actually afford a pilot because we came into the system with like 567 credits, which I think even the cheapest pilot would not have been available to us. A quarter nor. Yeah, we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Is that why they're growing space weed here? Away from the, the space cops? The space DEA? All right, autopilot. I'm a hard time with all these rocks. Hey, yeah, what? Let me. Uh, autopilot disengaged. I got this. Hello. I would like to visit your space weed spot, please. Unless the beta changed it, you should have gotten a pilot from mission you changed. Oh, do you think I've got a pilot in their ship? Okay. Hang on. If I go to uh property owned. Unassigned ships. Pilot. Oh, he's got a pilot! So I can't tell this guy to do something. I don't need to do that. I'm sure I got a tutorial for this. There's my crew. So yeah, Heritus is my pilot and really good morale boost and management. Okay. Um, guy, go make me some money. Exactly. All right, there's my ship. Collect deployables, add to squad. Oh, is this going to mean he's going to follow me? How do I tell this guy to trade? Well, I, I yes, yeah, so I can exit the pilot's sh this seat until the pilot flies some more, but my current ship that I'm currently on doesn't have a pilot other than me. It's this other ship in the middle of nowhere that's got that. Automatic trading requires three stars. Okay. So what can I tell him? Should I just tell him to come to me? Follow commander? Is this how you just make a fleet? Click the die eye right side and behavior. Though so you're going to have to be a little bit more clear. Click on die eye right side and behavior. Over here? Information? See the five icon near the whistle. Ah! Behavior. Okay. So I just have to keep going down these tabs. All right. Default behavior. Hold position. Uh-huh. Set default behavior. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay, hold on. So there's local auto trade and advanced auto trade. Looks like advanced auto trade does need five pips, but local auto trade, maybe not. Find a performer tr trade run with the specified wear without traversing any jump gates or accelerator. Buy an amount of cargo that can immediately be sold to a single buyer. Sell off current cargo first. If I just click this. Do I have to choose a wear? Oh. Wait, you recommend explore. Is that an option? Where's explore? Because that would be a great thing if we could use this guy to find more stuff for me. I don't see that. I can see revisit. So we'd get, we'd keep getting updates on trade offers. Explore is a right click order. Wait, so, okay. So there's default behavior and then. Well, I'm right clicking on him or with him. So. With him selected, do I right click somewhere? Oh, there it is. Okay, with the ship selected, I can right click and say, explore grand exchange. Oh, you set a zone. Oh, this is queuing commands up. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, why don't you go and explore then all this space here too? This looks like a queue. All right. Is it good? Is he doing it? Oh, he is! Look, he's moving! Okay. Oh, Explorer takes a long time for one command. So he'll go to the area and then sort of explore that, that sphere, I guess. Order cues on the behavior tab. There it is. Ah, someone said fly two might be faster. I see if it's not a, if it's a complete explorer, it could be time Space consuming. Space weed farm. Space weed farm. Out of docking range. Docking granted. Yeah, these green things, I do find them a little bit weird to, to follow sometimes. Where are you leading me to? I'm more over here. Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, also, let's make sure scanning mode on. Okay, I'm not seeing any indication that there's any... Uh... Did turning scanning mode on can cancel my docking request? It may have, because I'm not seeing the docking... Oh, no, there we go. Oh, I just overshot it. That's what it was. I'm like, I had the docking UI up for a second. All right. The V6, you can press F6 to access camera views, check other ships. Successfully okay. docked. What's up? Why is it? Wait. Your speed, your space weed price is 19% above average price. You're not doing a very good job of farming your space weed. Nope, not undock. I want to get up. Wrong button. Hmm. Docking granted. Successfully docked. All right, what I want to do is I want to find um, the merchant type that will sell me the Pew Pew laser for my spacesuit so that presumably I can open lock boxes with less stress and maybe do the Rex as well. Hello. What kind of alien are you? I help. Here you go. Hand laser is 47,000 credits. Does the color indicate something about like this being a higher price, lower price than other places? Here, I'm going to sell you some spices and needle and carbon filters. You look like you need carbon filters. 
and buy a hand laser. Good profit to you. Thank you. <gasps> Hang on. We got to get home the, the people movers. We. We. The greener, the gooder, the price. Oranger, the worser. Okay. That, I mean, that look, that, that would have been my guess. But that's the sort of thing that you could easily get wrong. Okay, just one more time. Whee! All right. So now we've got a hand laser. Rapier. Which might also matter for some of these, um, like the random derelicts we found. No missions here. Okay. Oh yeah, um, and yeah, it, you always have an, an upkeep mission for your ships that like, they're like, oh, you should you should totally get a captain for the ship. I don't know any really need to get a captain for my little starter ship. I think we're fine here. Equipment dock somewhere for docking computer. I probably wouldn't be able to afford it, even if there was. So. I don't see another way out from this system. Oh, I guess there's a jump gate here. Oh no, that just... Yeah, no, so we go this way. At the end of this highway, through this jump gate, which goes off... Well, that's just a grid line, I think. But yeah, I don't think I know where that goes. Engaged. Try to find more stations so you can trade and get more missions. Yeah, I agree. So I'm just generally kind of moving around. Uh, although, you know what I forgot? Um, if I cancel this, Disembody. if I open up scan mode and just do a scan pulse, we might find more stations in this area. What I like about the fact that I sort of just got teleported here from, from Earth... Wait, really? Nothing? What about this way? Is that it really makes sense why, like, I have no idea what's out here. You know, my pilot's just as lost as I am. This is, I think this is really just the ass end of space. Autopilot engaged. Weed area, probably no stations, yeah. Okay. Came to a bad neighborhood, you guys. There you go, we're back on the space highway. Sector is really big by comparison. Scan pulse doesn't cover much. I suppose that could be too. The highway. <laughs> Based on the zone we're in, yeah. Is Maja dust another kind of drug? Is that what's going on here? There's another Maja dust factory. Yeah, it is. Okay. Wow, so I'm really in the bad neighborhood. There's another dust factory there. All right, we should get out of uh, uh, Noppy Lias's fortune. We're just gonna we're gonna come back to our ship. And we're gonna find it up on um, on bricks with the, the hubcaps and wheels missing. Here in Taladi space, they have legalized all drugs. What is this, Canada? Okay, Canada hasn't legalized all drugs. What is this, Colorado? Entering Nopalia's Fortune 6. Oregon, right. They're the ones that have, uh, they, they decriminalize you all hard drugs and everything, right? So I should, before I poop out of here, I do a long range scan in this sector from where I am. Just because if it picks up anything, you know, great. Um, autopilot. Are you trying to enter from the other side? What are you doing, autopilot? Autopilot disengaged. Uh huh. Is there a directionality to these gates? Entering system. Pious mists. Pious mists. 
Harnid Trading Station. Okay. Oh. Send out a pulse. I feel like I should like not be parked right next to the gate here. I'm gonna get smacked if someone else comes through here. Oh, so many question marks! So many question marks! Oh, and there's another highway. This is this the main highway that like loops around like a billion different systems? It may be. I have a vague memory of these things. Someone's dropped a satellite. You can see these ships here. That's another way to good good way to find random stations out there somewhere. Um, so no missions currently on offer. That's fine. Let's head over here. Autopilot engaged. Could be a point for local trade. That's true. We could send our scout ships to this system and attempt to do local trade. That's the main highway. Okay. Look at, what are all these? These might be a bunch of ships moving in formation. I think these lines mean they're moving. Oh no, that's like lines off the uh, the horizontal axis, the elliptical. Hmm. Can you command your own ship to explore? No. Uh, presumably, if I had a pilot on this and I was just standing behind them, then yes. All right, parts factory. Another parts factory. Yeah. Autopilot disengaged. I mean, I'm a pilot, but I have to do it manually. I can't just give myself an order. Hang on. Overshooting. Well, oh, that's not where I want to go in. Where is it? This is not the uh, the hype the super highway, but is this going to jump me to another system? I think this is lined up with that highway there because you can jump into this from a highway. Can oh no, it's gonna we're just gonna walk through here. Okay, cool. Never mind. I'm lying to you. We you can tell we're on the good highway now because there's advertising. That's how you know this is a busy area of space. The space ads. Oh, medical emergency. Hold on a sec. Oh. Find lockbox, select items, deliver items. I accept. I knew I could count on you. Um, uh, eject from this. No, come back. Stop. Halt. Entry I want to get off the highway. I want to get off the ride. Hey. Okay. Autopilot engaged. There you go. Autopilot. Are you? Where are you going? Autopilot. Oh, you're going to go here and turn around, aren't you? Yep, there you go. Ah, that's fine. There you go. It's turned around, gotten back on the highway, going in the opposite direction. We had to do a U-turn. We had to find a place where we could legally do a U-turn. Got to follow that or, you know, we'll get a ticket. And the autopilot will get off the uh, highway, like, not, not necessarily even on the end of it, from what I remember, if it makes sense. Here, it might ride it to the end or near the end. G-Force would have been brutal. Okay, we got those uh, inertial dampeners that keep failing on Star Trek. You know, the ones that keep making people go... Whenever they get shot. Yeah, that's what we've got going on in the ship. You turned on the highway. It just jumped across the median. Boom. Okay, so over here, there's a crate we have to pop open. And this time, we don't have to do it with the ship lasers. And we're doing some... Uh, apologize, we're doing some very basic quests here, but... We're learning the game, we're getting ourselves bootstrapped. So we are entering this area. We go to long range scanner mode. Presumably we'll find a crate Autopilot of medical supplies. Disengaged. Maybe if we face the right direction. So we just have to get lucky. Nothing to target with, with page down. Hey, there's nothing to click on, so I can't tell how far away this yellow blinking thing is. Oh, oh, 
whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Something just showed up sort of on my local, uh, Empty space. There it is, presumably. Autopilot engaged. Oh no, that's back to empty space. Crap. Autopilot. Dis autopilot. Autopilot. Disengage. Auto. 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 Autopilot. Autopilot. Disengaged. Yeah, I probably have to turn around again. Definitely nothing over there. Yeah, the last time we were in a space with a container, we pinged in a direction and found something. I've never seen this happen. Not showing anything on the map. To go away. Oh, because I dropped out of long range scan when I went into travel mode. Shit. Okay, so I can't go into travel mode. I'll just use the boost. Okay, so I'm out of the area now. So the targeting for the empty area space is back up as a selectable. But I'm going to keep going towards this blinking yellow thing, which has now disappeared. All right, still there. It's not a bad point. Read the, the, the mission description. Uh, yeah, fine lockboxes, zero of two. Ship was destroyed. Hopefully some of its inventory remains intact. Probably something different, not the lockbox. That's what I'm wondering. It's just like a secret quest thing, but again, I have no idea how far it is. I still think it's probably in the zone. Yeah, I guess that's true. If we just ping the whole area. Okay, let's turn around. If we ping the whole area, we'll reveal the lockbox. Oh! Unknown object. Well, there we go. Unknown object. Oh. Yeah, I wonder where that yellow ping is. Yeah, I, I think that's it. I think it was above us, and I didn't I didn't go up and down. Well, mostly because I get distracted by whatever this yellow area Auto is. Pilot. I'm still very Engage. curious about that. I don't know what that is. But that's a good trick. Like, fly short of the zone, Auto and then do a ping. Disengaged. Just one ping. Or whatever the line from uh, Hunt for Red October is. Okay, and stop. Okay, my space brakes aren't as... Uh, as breaky as I'd hoped. All right, so what I'm gonna do, quick save, before I F everything up. Seems like a good idea. Now, Rapier. Um, if I go, I think it's already installed. If I go and go to spacesuit, there you go. I now have, so I have the repair tool and my laser beam. Lockbox. Uh-huh. Where are the locks? There's only one lock. Is it the red thing? Do I just shoot this one red thing here? I don't want it to blow up and kill me. It does have a lock icon. I couldn't tell what it is because it was, you know, sideways, but... Oh, I'm too far away. I'm assuming this has a pretty short range, just like my repair laser. Whew! Okay. You know what? I probably could have just done it with my ship again. I don't know. All right. Unknown object. Okay, well, let's go back to our ship. Rapier. Docking granted. This ship can have up to three crew. Is it like captain, an engineer? 
A marine? I don't know. Unknown object. Ambassador? Really? Yes! Another piece of debris around? I mean, it looks like I got all the quest stuff. I don't see any other little arrows in my HUD that indicate some piece of debris nearby. So presumably I'm done. Deliver bandages 0 of 7. Um, let me verify, I suppose that I have seven bandages. Yep, I have seven bandages. I also have some needles and sedatives. Okay. At the Maja Snail Farm. Autopilot okay. engaged. More crew, quicker auto repair, better jobs. Oh, for ambassador? Okay. Besides captain, there are two crew types, Marines for boarding and service crew, which increase mining speed and repair Capital ship subsystems. Oh. Major snail farm. Oh. Are these like the snails, the like oh no, they're they there's slugs from uh Agents of Shield. Season five. Oh, we got a criminal! Am I spawning the criminal because I'm in scanning mode? Is that how I know they're criminals? Civilian ship B. I wonder if it's called civilian ship. And I'm gonna go blow it up because that feels ethical. Oh, is it trying to dock? Mercy. Mercy. But. But explosions! I kill them, I think. Maybe. Oh, there's a signal leak nearby. Well, that's good. But where's the loot? Where's my fat loot? Close up to the station, they're always criminals. They show up on every mode. Okay. So, oh, is that right there, right? That's a little leak. Signal leak. So we can tap into that and get some, like, blueprint or something, right? Well, it went away. I don't know what I got out of it. But it went away. Let me just um, boost away from the station for a sec, and then I'll request docking. Nice. Got a commission. Oh, we got a trade discount. The timing for the sub sound was perfect. It was. Thanks, uh, kitten. Oh. Major snail farm. Long enough said commission. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not where I expected it was landing me. I thought I was going into a place. Turn around. Turn around. Bright eyes. Every now and again. Na, 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 na. Need to research to get blueprints from signal leaks. Okay. You get some without research. Oh, okay. Successfully docked. Gained rep with God Realm of the Paranoid? Or Paranid. Uh, so. Welcome. You do sell snails. Yeah, so yellow, it's a little expensive. Even though you're a snail farm. Maybe too many people have just recently bought some snails from these guys. Okay. Recorders. Every night again, you have a little collision, break off all your docking clamps. Mmm. Greetings. This crewman here. Oh, this person would be dirt cheap because they have no skill. Hello. 
I have your bandages. And your needles and your sedatives. Great to work. You're welcome. Thank you for the 43,000 space bucks. Oh, I see. It's because that's the price to sell to the station. I got to look on the other side. Okay, let me check that again. There again, I'll shortcut to my ship. Rapier. If I hit trade. Sell offer. I don't think, I mean, I'm not going to buy it. So they are, they have some to offer. They have 3,500 snails to sell me. But there's not another price on the other side. So I think, thank you for spraying down my ship. I think that's just the price of it here. Wait, water is illegal here? Water. I mean, it is a universal solvent. I get it. They're producing their money. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, why would they Why would they buy any? But I'm just surprised. They sell them because they produce them, but apparently the price is expensive. I would assume wherever snails were being produced, the price would be cheap. But maybe if we wait a while, if we let the game run for a bit, they'll actually, like, the, the amount they have on offer will increase and the price will, will go down. Water is legal. By Brando, the thirst mutilator. It's got electrolytes. Water, no whiskey, yes. Uh, yeah, no more missions on offer over here. Russian game, you like it? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just derping around the early stuff and I really don't have any idea what's going on, but yes. Let's go. Find a new object. Oh, it looks like it's under the Stargate, which is good. That'll open up another area that we can travel to. For fun, can you switch between different ship modes quick succession? Oh, for the sounds? Achievement unlock, prepare disco. Oh my god. Is it because my the 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 HUD is changing colors? It doesn't have the same sound effect as this. Engaged. Cause I like that. <laughs> Poor computer game. Why are we being so mean to this computer game? All right, let's see where this goes. Unknown sector. I like how the uh, the log on the left couldn't even catch up. Entering. Is you should hear music. Are you correctly? Wait, really? It would start some music. Well, that's funny. All right. We found something out here. Um. Oh. My AI pilot found a, lo a lockbox. I'm telling him to collect it. Hopefully he doesn't blow himself up like I did. So there's clearly a station out here and another one over here and something over there or another jump gate or something. But yeah, I guess I can just long range scan probably and find some things. Lots of stations over that way. Oh yeah. Let's go in this general area. Also, I could literally see them. So, you know, there's that too. They will pick up illegal stuff too, beware. Oh, and would they get shot at it and blown up? Maybe I should check their inventory after this and see what the hell they're holding on to. Microchip factory, smart chip factory, unknown station. What is it to, uh, is it control A? To disable the assist? No. I thought it was. Autopilot. Engaged. Autopilot. For. There's a button that lets you turn off the flight assist. Control space bar? Shift space bar. I know you can do some funky maneuvers with that. You are a medical supply factory. Okay.
more pings. Yeah, let's come down here and see what's there. Autopilot engaged. And then have I revealed any quests? Oh yeah, na I'm sorry, is that 15 million credits? I have to blow up a bunch of stuff. Registered an increase in attacks targeting our faction's mining efforts. During the reconnaissance, our scouts came across a cock. Sounds dirty. Installation. And we believe to be responsible for the current situation. Destroy it. Hopefully, you can give our weary miners some well deserved. Would this be a mission to destroy a space station? 15 million credits. Demonstrate our presence. Well, this is a patrol quest. Patrol the sector for 20 minutes. Shoot down any insurgents come across. Favorite time. Additional bonus. So presumably they could also just run away from anything. Autopilot disengaged. EUC Ducks Duke's lost property outfit? Why is it purple over here? I'm worried that I'm like hanging out somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Autopilot engaged. Yeah, what well, we had started doing the highway loop and then we discovered a quest, so I abandoned the highway loop. That's a pirate base. They don't like anyone. Oh, well, that's a good... All right. It's, I'm really happy that I'm hanging out in this area. Oh, there's actual red space around there, too. Parts factory. Okay, no new quests. An accelerator. What's an accelerator? Oh, is that, like, for a highway? Purple, there's mineable gas, blue background, and minerals, red background there. Oh, okay. And I know there's a mining overlay. Peace and stability. That's another patrol mission. We'll have to get ourselves a little fighter ship. A lot of the other starts start with fighter ships. In the expansion? I think the Steam page is the 12th, which would be Wednesday. So, assuming it's out in time, what I'll do is I'll... Um, my plan is to probably do more of this that resource probe. Autopilot doesn't resource probe. Oh, is this just something I can deploy? Oh, hold on. Um, because I know under the civilian stuff, which I don't have, but I think you can get resource probes and what it does is it like flags minerals and stuff. help with mining missions and various things, right? Is X4 more CPU heavy than GPU? From what I've heard, although I, with, you know, probably these days, I don't know, depends, but I, I, I always heard from reading some things that, yeah, it's more CPU than anything else. But Autopilot engaged. Much more CPU heavy. And I'm on my GTX 1080. Right now in space, I'm sitting at 116 FPS. What are you? Hive guard. Hive guard? Okay, well, we heard about hive. Oh my god, there's tons of red. Oh, is this the installation? Oh, no! Don't be here! Autopilot disengage. Stay in, stay in pilot, stay in travel mode. Don't be here. This sounds like a bad place. What is that thing? I oh, can't click on it. Autopilot engaged. Okay. Let's back, get back on, like, the space highway thing. Unknown station. And then we should get an info on the station as we fly by it as well. Oh, station engineer's needed. Fire station engineer, too. Do I just have to go and hire them? Seeking. I don't know if I want to go around like shopping for engineers. Autopilot. Disengage. So I think when you autopilot to one of these things, it doesn't necessarily go through it. It's just like, oh, you wanted to come here. Okay. But if you autopilot somewhere that you have to go through things, then it will. 
entering ISS. You where some people believe life to be a highway? Life is a highway. And I want to ride it all night long. You're going my way, then. I don't remember the rest how it goes. Been a long time. Yeah, let's just try to boop into this highway and ride it until we can't no more. All right, I'm gonna merge. Check your blind spot. Whee! All right. I guess I can just fly by. Pilots wanted, vermin outbreak, supervised mining efforts. I just fly by and accept things as we're looping through this. So presumably when you go through here, we're gonna be in a new sector. Entering system. Oh, oh, there we go. Preemptive climb. defense, pilots wanted. Yeah, so I guess it's just, just go around, go to space Entry stations, system. find some cheap pilots, Elevation. hire them. I don't know. Quick fixes. Oh, I can fix things. Yeah. I know I can count on you. Cool. Engaging. Autopilot. Engage. There you go. I was going to say, so it should bail out of this spot, space highway. Jump onto the other one over here. It is just after four, so we're going to be wrapping up the stream here in just a scoochums. Maybe we'll do this repair mission. Oh. Hey! I was talking about uh, having spent some time with my nibblings this weekend and having uh, some, like, frozen things being a topic. Looks like A Kiss for Luck is currently playing Disney Dreamlight Valley and appears to be talking to Elsa, is what it looks like to me. So we're going to be raiding that channel later in a scooch. Uh... Want to be X4 stream? Um, so, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, which means we should have access to the expansion. So, there's a data leak at the HOP Claytronics factory. So, we're just going to get near it. Disengage. Turn on local scanning mode, short range scanning mode. Presumably, the little anomalous sensor will come up. I don't see it yet. Leaks repaired. Zero of two. Maybe it doesn't show up the same way because it's a mission? Claytronics factory. Because I'm not seeing the little static. Oh, was there a specific marker? Just go to a specific marker. Oh, just like the uh, campaign mission, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's just like the campaign mission. Specific markers rather than track it down. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Right. That's one. Stop that drone. Am I done? Yeah. Oh, seek out high yield resources. What is this? Oh, I need a resource probe for that. Yeah, I'd have to trade for one. Let's uh, let's dock to this place. Docking granted. Did say mission failed? Why did it fail? Heronet How do I get the um? Can I expand the mission log? Quick fixes. Mission failed. Data leak. Scan detected. Wait, was I supposed to do it all on the sly? You scan the leak instead of fixing it. Oh! Did I still get the benefits of scanning the leak? Um, this is not where the landing spot is. So I got the commission. Okay. So I can accept the mission to fix the leak, and instead of fixing the leak, I can just, like, hack it and steal it. And did I lose any rep? Oh yeah, commission unlocked. Yeah, alright. Worst electrician ever. You got info on where the leak is and then abused it. Successfully docked. Alright, uh... Welcome. 
I only have 49,000 credits. I'd have more if I'd completed that mission. Buy the Claytronics, still a little high price, although presumably I could probably find somewhere else to get it cheaper. Now, if I want to modify my ship, that has to be at a specifically different place, right? That has to be a place that has the upgrade button available, which is that war for equipment dock. So I'd have to find an equipment dock, do that, and then if I had enough money, I could get the docking computer and just save ourselves a little bit of time. Trading energy cells. Right, I mean, this place doesn't have, all the thing they sell is Claytronics. But I know one of the things you can do from the map is if we turn on trade mode, we can see like what objects are bought at these different places. And I can like zoom in to get a specific thing. I can zoom out to get a, a total of the whole system. So if we look at this, we can see this system. What are these dots? Is that the relative price? Seems poor. So they're selling these, Stop that drone. but the cheapest we can get is like, assuming that this represents the, the price difference from average, or maybe I should be looking for the three dots. Should I buy three dots and then sell three dots? Or should I be looking to buy one dots and sell one dots? Dots means quantity. Oh. So I have no idea what the prices are. I know you can click on it and you can get a filter for turret components. And yeah, with this, I think we can get like, this is the last time I saw these prices. Okay, so we can see the prices. So here I can get turrets, turret components somewhere in the system for 276. I could sell them right next door for 297. I mean, that's not much of a, you know, it's not much of a profit. It would technically be some. Oh, someone else buys it. So I could, if I got my other ship over here, I could tell it to do local trade on turret components and it would make 10 credits of profit very slowly in this system. Send me a look on Discord. Yeah, I'll check out some of those. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should play more of this on my own so that come Wednesday, I have more of an idea of what's going on or would people prefer to see the learning process? Of course, prices change, yeah. And there's no fuel cost now. You want to see the learning? Okay. Okay. We'll probably continue to save, because even... Okay, so with the expansion, if I understand correctly how most of these expansions work, um, they add new sectors of space, they add new ships and maybe new factions and all these things, but, like, you can keep playing your existing save and then just add an expansion in. Um, the only thing we'd be missing out on is we would have the option with the new expansion that comes out on Wednesday of starting as one of those, um, as, as some new background. But I kind of like this one. Any new fuel cost? You don't have to buy energy or fuel anymore? Well, I don't know. I, I don't think there's any fuel in this game. Was that an animation background? Oh, that's... This, this, guy's, this guy's making sure my, uh... He's, he's working for tips. Thanks, buddy. Have a buck. I think I can hire him, too, if I wanted to. Oh, energy with some jump drives. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's just de-icing the ship. It's fine. Yeah, I think this game is cool, and I know there's, like, there's quite a lot of stuff to do, which is very exciting. But yeah, we're, we're gonna, so we're going to stream more on Wednesday. So that's going to start... Um, the plan, the normal plan, is to start at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So we'll do some more of that. We'll see. Um, yeah, so, oh, to address the Victoria 3 thing, um, I had miscalculated. I had marked some things down in my calendar wrong. I thought I had enough Victoria 3 to last until tomorrow. I didn't realize we ran out last week. Um, I just marked some things incorrectly in my thing. Uh, so tomorrow, Tuesday, is not a streaming day. I'm going to be recording Victoria 3 all day. So, and I'll try to get one of those episodes, like, as soon as I kind of record the first one tomorrow, I'll try to slap it up on the internets. Um, so, yeah, some point tomorrow will be Vicky three and then it should be back to daily but yeah I, ha I hadn't realized I had run out of episodes Rapier. I just marked incorrectly when I started publishing them so sorry about that sorry there'd been a gap mm -hmm. Victoria only had 2.9 yeah Quill only had 2.99 Victoria is not three yeah so we're gonna go ready to kiss for luck she's playing that lovely game Disney Dreamlight Valley uh give her some love I'm gonna see you guys on Wednesday for more of x4 thanks for watching see you soon